first before I start off saying anything I want to thank my subscribers for subscribing to me you guys are absolutely freaking awesome for watching me and also I do want to apologize for not making videos every week like I did say that I was going to do um, that was only because I'm six months pregnant right now and I came down with the flu a few weeks ago and being pregnant with the flu is not exactly oodles of fun because you can't really take any medicine so yeah needless to say I was miserable for about a week and I kind of lost track of time I didn't I kept procrastinating doing videos and putting it off and putting it off and then yeah so I apologize for that I'm gonna get back in the swing of things so ever since alanafox.com has been up and running and um, also I want to say thank you to a lot of my customers too for um, just making that such a wonderful experience interacting with you guys and helping you guys find you know really good hair extensions at affordable prices and helping you guys out with hair tips and um, any other things that you may have questions about. I've been asked a thousand times about leave-in conditioners so I'm going to show you in this video what I use as my leave-in conditioners there are actually three that I love 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 but I'm only going to show you two in this video all three will be listed on my blog, which is alanafox.blogspot.com right now. And um, you can find the link below, or you can find the link on alanafox.com. Um, before I get started, this hair is, of course, from alanafox.com. It's the Virgin Malaysian Wavy. Uh, I have 28, 26, and 24 bu uh, inch bundles in my hair. I tried to fit all three bundles, but my head is not that big, so... <laughs> So it's only able to fit two and a half, but the hair is still nice and thick and full. Um, right now, I'm about a week post-wash, so um, I'm going to actually wash my hair tonight when I'm done with this. And this is also a lace closure, which is something that's very new to me. So um, if you have any questions about that, leave them below, or you can leave them on the blog, or you can email them to me, or you can message them to me on YouTube and um, I'll answer your questions about those. They will be up on the site in about a month or two. The reason why I have a closure in is because I actually cut all the perm out of my hair. I am one year post relaxer and I had about this much perm left on my hair so I just told the lady to just kind of cut all of it off. I didn't mind because at least my hair reach, reached uh, my neck, like my shoulder. So I was fine with that. And I don't wear my hair out anyway. So, um, you know, I'd rather my hair be healthy by the time baby gets here than to be trying to hold on to dead ends and, you know, fight for that. Uh, the lipstick that I'm wearing, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about this. It's a combination of two different lipsticks that I love, love, love. And I think that this combination will work very well on anyone's skin tone. So if you want a tutorial on that, please let me know. Uh, leave me a comment and I'll definitely do a video on that for you. Excuse my boobs. They're baby boobs, so they're kind of like all over the place right now. I'm going to have to keep adjusting them because I'm not used to having breasts. Before this video gets too long, let me just get into what I have to tell you. So what you're going to need first is a uh, empty spray bottle. I got this one. I believe I either got it from Walmart or Sally's, but I'm pretty sure any uh, local beauty supply store has these. You can get it in any shape. I just to chose this shape because it was easy to grab, uh, easy for me to shake up, and of course it's pink, and I love pink, so why not? Um, you can get any shape you want to get, any size you want to get. This recipe will work for any bottle. doesn't matter. It's just kind of eyeballing it. Like I did say before, there are three different ones that I love. The two that I'm going to show you tonight um, are just for the purpose of budget friendliness. Um, they're, be, they're less than $8, both of them, and they last a really long time because of the method that I use to dilute them. So the them. first one that I'm going to show you is Razax Perfect for Perms Leave-In Conditioner. This provides shine, it's non-oily, adds body, which is great, and it has superior conditioning qualities. The top is a flip top. And the second one that I'm going to show you is Infusium 23 Professional. It's the original formula pro vitamin leave in hair treatment, which is the same thing as a leave in conditioner. This is for relaxed, permed, or color treated hair. Um, 
the difference between these two. This one was $5.49 and this one is 16 ounces. This one was $6.99 and this is 20 ounces. So you can see the difference with me holding them up closer to each other. The difference between these two besides the size and the price is that the Perfect for Perms is a little bit more milky and it's a thicker uh, consistency than the Infusium 23 which is a lot more watery. Um, personally, I like watery leave-in conditioners because I feel like the, the thicker the conditioner, the more weight it, it puts on the hair and I feel like virgin hair is supposed to be lightweight and flowy. You're not really supposed to have that much uh, product build up on it. So, I mean, it's really up to you which one you want to use. But the method that I use is to take the spray bottle. You're going to do one part conditioner to two part water. And how you do that is you can look at the bottle and see that this is about halfway. And this is about one third of the bottle. So you would fill one third of the bottle either with the Perfect for Perms or the Infusium 23 and then you would just fill the rest of the bottle the bottle all the way up with um, lukewarm water not hot water not cold water lukewarm water then you would shake it up and then you can apply it to your hair please remember to shake this up every single time you use it because sometimes you'll find that the conditioner will settle on the bottom because it's less dense than the water it'll settle on the bottom um, but if you see that happening, don't worry, don't panic. It's nothing wrong with your conditioner. Just shake it up. This will last for about, I think I'm about three to four washes in with using this. And there are a lot of bubbles because I've been shaking it up. I did this video like 20 times already. Um, I think it starts about somewhere right here. But this is about three washes in. So you can see it lasts for a very long time. And you're only using about this much of the actual conditioner. So, um... This bottle is going to last you a long time, a few months, maybe a year, depending on how many times you, you know, how much you use the conditioner. I do not recommend you using this conditioner uh, mixture on dry hair because obviously once you wet your hair, it's going to curl. But, well, I mean, if you, if you have good hair, <laughs> if you have good virgin hair, your hair is going to curl once you use this conditioner. Especially recommend using this if you have color treated your extensions. I know a lot of ladies like to bleach them, ombre them, color them, purple, blue, red, orange, yellow, whatever color you want to do it. But if you are putting excessive heat or damaging chemicals in your hair, this is a staple that you need to have in your weekly washing routine to uh, help preserve your hair and make it last as long as you can. I personally only like to use it once I have washed and conditioned my extensions and I'm going to either wear it in its natural state, which I love this hair in its natural state, it's so pretty. So um, I love to put this in it and just leave it and let it air dry and wear it around all day like it's mine. Or I just put it in and then let it air dry and straighten it. You don't want to put a lot in. You just do about three squirts per side. Work it through your hair with your fingers. And it's just as simple as that. It should cost you less than $10 to make. Again, if you can't find either of these um, conditioners at your beauty supply store, you can always go on Amazon.com. And they have everything. And you can probably get it in like two days. So... Yeah, there you go. There's my leave-in conditioner. It's super easy. It's super affordable. I hope it works well for you guys, uh, girls. So um, let me know how that works for you. Leave a comment below. If you try it out, if you like Infusium better, let me know. If you like Perfect for Perms better, let me know also. Even if it doesn't work for you, let me know too because then I could find something that, you know, that may uh, work for you. I'm always open to trying new things. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video and if you have any other questions, comments, or requests, please don't hesitate to email me or um, inbox me or leave them in the comments below. Okay, bye.